And reporting a little bummer, but I think we were prepared for this because of the uh, turbo mode BIOS inclusion, whatever you want to call that new mode that a lot of we're seeing in a lot of motherboards um, for X3D turbo mode. That kind of let the cat out of the bag. That kind of disappointed us and let us know way ahead of time uh, what to look forward, what to look forward to, and what not to look forward to. And this is from Video Cards, the AMD Ryzen 9 9950 X3D and the 9900 X3D are going to launch at the end of January after uh, the CES show, most likely. But the 3DB cache is only on one CCD. Yeah. Big frickin' bummer, but I kind of think we knew that. And I think they were letting the cat out of the bag with the motherboard makers, mainly, and AMD, were letting the uh, cat out of the bag and making us get our hopes dashed sooner rather than later with this new BIOS uh, 3D, uh, X3D turbo mode. Because you really don't need that thing. Uh, that new thing, all it does is, is it makes it easier to disable, to disable SMT and the non-CCD die, the core, uh, the, the non-cached the non the non CCD. That's all it does uh, for a performance boost. We, we could have done that already, and we've been doing it already. Some of us have. So putting that new, ma making it easier to do that. But count, calling it a 3D V-Cache Turbo Mode, kind of disingenuous. And it was telling us, way ahead of time, don't get your hopes up for the, uh, the behemoths having 3D V-Cache on both CCDs. And according to Huang Anfu, the leaker with a good track record for AMD hardware disclosures, the company is now expected to launch the... Um, the 12 core and 16 core variants of the X3D 9000 CPUs uh, at the uh, CES 2025. But he has no specifications such as clock speed or TDP, but an important detail was revealed. Specifically, the dual CCD processors will not have 3D vCache on each chiplet. AMD will impl implement the same design as the previous generation, which means an extra 64 megabyte only for a single die. Naturally, the technology will still evolve. These CPUs will use second generation 3DB cache, which means it'll be flipped and it'll be in reverse, reverses the order of the CCD and cache compared to the last generation series. But the fact that the 9950X3D and the 99 x 3 d won't have 3DB cache on both chiplets is certainly disappointing. Many enthusiasts were ready to consider such CPUs. I, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. I honestly thought that if they could pull this off, uh, there would be nothing left of Intel. And if they ever do manage to pull this off, they are going to be king of the CPUs for quite a long time. Uh, for the Ryzen 7000 series, uh, AMD had to implement special thread scheduling al algorithms that prior prioritized the CCD chiplet with 3DB cache for gaming and the other chiplet for high uh, single-threaded apps. But the Ryzen 9000 X3D, motherboard makers have already announced their X3D Turbo technology, which basically, as I said, disables SMT, SMT hyper-threading and also disables this, uh, the CCD without the cache on it, resulting in a reduced core count. So basically what it does, what that setting in your BIOS does is it's going to turn your 9950 X3D or your 9900X3D into a virtual 7800 or 9800X3D. That's all it's going to really do. Um, and they're calling it turbo mode. There is a uh, video, according to, the, according to the video cards, there's a video on Hardware Canucks where they test this technology across Ryzen 7 and 9000 CPUs. And uh, it, it's, not, it's not that good, honestly. It's not, it doesn't help. This thing, it doesn't help the 7800X3D or the 9800X3D at all. I don't see, I, I don't see where they're getting these numbers from. Let's check uh, one of these uh, comments here. Uh, Koo says, the fact that the 9950X3D and 99X3D won't have 3DB cache on both chiplets is certainly disappointing information. Uh, no, it's not. As long as thread scheduling works correctly, something AMD is vastly closer to than at Zen... Ford's X3D launch, 
the asymmetric layout has significant upside and basically zero downside. AKA putting X3D on both CCDs would do absolutely nothing to improve game performance on a title that has correct thread scheduling and the uh, asymmetric layout. Why? The cross CCD latency penalty makes running games across both CD CCDs completely idiotic, and this won't be fixed until Zen 6 with its new packaging layout, which is why this is which is why this is when dual X3D CCD parts will actually make sense. Uh, all that X3D on the non-primary CCD would do is hurt clock speeds outside of games. That's literally it. Uh, gamers simply don't need more than uh, 16 CPU threads and likely won't until at least the next-gen consoles come out. And going asymmetric X3D CCD plus non-X3D CCD means significantly higher possible clock speeds, especially for lightly uh, threaded things and thus raw CPU and productivity productivity performance. The only major problem with the asymmetric layout in early 2025 will be the required setup process to make everything work correctly. As such, I'm absolutely praying that AMD includes some kind of step-by-step -step guide for uh, what to do with every nine, Ryzen 9, uh, 9000 X3D part. Gigabyte, uh, there was a, I don't have, I'm not gonna post about it today. I won't have it in a video. I won't have a dedicated video about it. But apparently, Gigabyte is going to make it easier to enable X3D Turbo Mode without going into your BIOS with, and without leaving Windows. They're probably developing some kind of app, and I think Ryzen Master eventually will have that. Uh, will have the ability to do set do so on the fly. Possibly, I wouldn't be surprised if Windows 11 is eventually patched with a little setting and maybe the Xbox Game Bar. To do this, but seriously, um, motherboard makers are already on the on the uh, especially Gigabyte. They're already on, on the ball with that, and uh, it wouldn't surprise me if AMD uh, updates Ryzen Master to do such thing, so that way it makes it easier to enable that setting. But still, get the get the course scheduling ironed out, because right now it's kind of disappointing. It, it, the, the poor performance wise is kind of disappointing, really. <sighs> And so wasn't, you know, I, this, this person that made the comment is correct. Um, he, I think the Kui is correct in, uh, in stating that having 3D cache on a, on the second CCD would be a waste when it comes to gaming. Um, especially right now. Uh, but in the future, I think everything he has, this, I think everything he says here does have some validity and we're going to see that i think as um we're going to see that play out in stalker 2 because that game is really putting systems through its paces stalker 2 is basically you any modern computers today you can build the best thing you can soak two thousand dollars into a computer right now and the best it'll do in Stunker 2 is maybe 80 to 100 frames per second. Maybe 120. It depends on what you're doing. It depends on your settings. But that game is going to have some interesting, uh, interesting. I think it's going to be, have an interesting history and benchmarks to come. And it will also tell us, uh, uh, tells us stories about how the 3D recache uh, situation is going to play out uh, between Zen 5 and Zen 6. That's what I think is going to happen. It's going to be an interesting uh, road ahead. Anyway, if you uh, like what you see here, click the ring the bell and subscribe. Share this video to Gonzo Media. We will see you in the next one.